everyone, hope all is fine and healthy. This is the second episode of Comic Reflection. I want to thank you for all the kind words and also words of encouragement given to me after the first episode was posted. At least some people watch it and want me to do a second episode. So here I am again, managed to pick up some comics. I think wow, but I think the main reason why I collect comics is because of the story and because of the art. I don't go for first appearance or so and so unless you play a character or something like that and yes, but mainly it's because of the art and story. Anyway, everybody got a preference. First up, aha uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2 Issue 36. This is the 9-11 issue. I remember when 9-11 happened. Make sure didn't get comics for more than a month. But this way back when I was working in a comic shop in Wanutama. Yes, it was a comic shop in Wanutama. So this was the last issue meant for the rack. I wanted it but my boss was like, no, we can't have it. Customers first, so I put it on the rack. Someone came and bought it. Girl came and bought it, I remember. Girl came and bought it. And that's it lah, so I thought, okay, that's the last time I see this book. This girl came back the very next day and she put this book on, you know, in front of me. Is there something wrong with it? You know, want to be fun or anything? You know, she said, no. She said, this book actually, I think this book means more to you than to me. That's what she said to me. I don't know this girl. I cannot remember how she looks like. I don't know her name. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I just bought the book out of her and just left the shop. That's it. So, written by J. Michael Szynski. He did a lot of things. Babylon 5 or a TV series, a lot of books. I think he wrote, oh, he wrote a lot. This run of Amazing Spider-Man with John Romita Jr. Romita Jr. his art, square, boxy, but yeah, you know it's him. He drew a lot as well. Avengers, Thor, I think he did Kick-Ass, yeah, he did Kick-Ass. X-Men, the Daredevil and in this issue you actually see Doctor Doom shed a tear Next, I'll talk about Frank Cho one of my favourite artists why I like him so much he can draw apes really well he can draw dinosaurs he can draw giant apes very well so yeah this is yeah, it's Liberty Meadows uh, my Frank Cho is all black and white Frank Cho drew a lot of other things he did two issues of New Avengers, he did Mighty Avengers number one, he did Shana the She Devil. But have you guys, have you guys seen this? Yeah, this is Zombie King number zero. He only did number zero. Number one never came out. So Frank Cho, please do number one onwards. This is written and drawn by him, black and white. Oh, I got this well, back on Earth. This comic came in. And there was no babes on the cover. So like, ah, Frank Cho, no babes on the cover, how to buy? So then when I flip through it, okay, zombie on the first page. But on the third page, this is on the third page. So the story is interesting. The story is about a bunch of zombies. All they want to do is have sex and eat. It's just funny and it's just cool. Huh? So yeah. Next! Oh, next is a set. A set of 12. Moonshadow issue 1 to 12. Written by J.M. DeMatteis. Art by John J. Moof. Who I pronounced his name right? The title of the comic is inspired by uh, Cat Stevens' song. You can see beautiful painted covers. Um, this story, in a nutshell, is about this kid. This kid, this is his father. His father is an alien, a round, egg shaped alien. His mother is a hippie. It's about discovering yourself. You know, maturing. Seriously, it's one of the best reads. Most personally, I think it's one of the best reads I have read. Next is We Tree. This is written by Grant Morrison, but by Frank Quitley. Grant Morrison and Frank Quitley, you know, they did a few things together. They did New X Men together, remember that? That run was, that run was cool. They did All, All Star Superman. Grant Morrison who wrote GLA, um, he wrote Doom Patrol. He wrote a lot of Vertigo stuff as well. Of course he wrote Final Crisis, which I don't understand. I thought I read it wrong, but I seriously until you now I don't understand Final Crisis. Frank quickly well, how I can describe his art? He can draw beautiful, ugly people. Three pets on the cover, a dog, a cat, and a rabbit. When I saw this panel, I told myself, I need to get this book. The guy got shot. All those are the bullets flying through his body. Okay, that's about it. 
Um, I'll dig up more books the next time round. And yeah, talk more about comics. Everybody take care, stay safe, goodbye.